They just did like a strip search on me just to get in the show. I'm just, I mean, for the truck, not me personally. But we're here at the Nissan. Yeah, the Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. And so far, I mean, I've already seen like two. There's an OBS back there. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there's a bunch of people here though. But we're in line to get our get registered in. Uh, I already got my tickets and all, so we're good on that. Just gotta get registered and get put in the show. So this is my second time coming here. This is the first time they're having at the Nissan, or Nissan. Yeah, Nissan. Nissan Stadium, which so far it looks like it's a little bit better than, or a lot better than what it was last year at that Speedway. It was kind of like really unorganized last year at the Speedway. It was kind of hard to get around and I don't know. They had people parking anywhere and everywhere. It was just nuts. This time they actually have it all sectioned off for gold, silver, all the parking lots. They have a concert, live music, the whole nine yards. Lindsay's back there somewhere. That's a clean 6-7 though. I was supposed to get a booth, but no booth this year, whatever, no big deal. We'll uh, we'll make do in the gold spot. Once we get in there and get set up, I'll get back with you guys. Quick interruption right now. I've got one question and one question only. What is the biggest risk that you have ever taken in your entire life? Comment down below what the biggest risk you've ever taken in your entire life is, and did it or did it not pay off for you? Did you fail horribly or did you succeed? Was it a good risk or a bad risk? Because today I'm here to tell you that I am giving away my 2011 Ford F-250 King Ranch with 110,000 miles, 6'7 power stroke, with an 18 inch lift, wheel lights, rock lights, 26 by 16 KG1 forged wheels wrapped around with 40 inch Comforcer tires, completely loaded King Ranch with a sunroof, starlight headliner, color matched everything, suspension, and all of it is in beautiful condition. And time is running out for you to get entered in to win this truck. Stop what you're doing, hit the link above or down below in the description and get entered in to win this beauty. It's a life changing opportunity and it's the biggest risk that I've ever taken in my life. Enjoy the rest of the video. Do you see what I see? What? I see a bunch of snails. Yeah, I saw that. Whole bunch of snails. I need snails in my life. Me too. I need a big one. This is the national. I wonder if I can get all eight of those snails to work together on my comments. Would it hold? You just put like each end together. Yeah. And then you get a like a black and decker uh, leaf blower. <laughs> so much moose. I did it. I like the black. Why do you think my, you think my truck's so fast? Oh! This is so cool. I didn't know that. Uh, now I know. What about what about like a Milwaukee? Does a Milwaukee have more power? Absolutely. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But just okay. if you want to go a cheaper route with a really yeah. expensive turbo, go black yeah. and decker. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I'll do that next time. There's a switch in the fuel tank. It doesn't even run on any fuel. Cole said this thing's loud. Where's the exhaust at? Oh, everybody's leaving. <laughs> That's concerning. That is very concerning. What else you got on that thing? That thing sounds like complete dog shit, man. It does. I know this is a stupid question, but it's like, <laughs> what you your camera up there? <laughs> <laughs>
Bryce, I found your truck. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than you. Bro, I honestly think we're lost because we came here for the, the, the Tennessee Titans soccer game and there's some trucks here. I don't know why. We're just why. trying to find a, or a place to park our Civic. Like, yeah, these guys I, just keep rolling coal and stuff on us. I just came here to watch them play golf at the, the Tennessee Titans play golf. Yes. Is that young Dolph reborn? Poverty edition? Hey, yo! Ford fucking Ranger! Day two really isn't a day two, is it? Mm -hmm. Everybody's already packing up and leaving. Like, everybody's packing. Oh, look at that bull nose. I didn't even see that thing. That thing's sick. Is it wide enough? I think they need more spacers. You guys need more spacers for sure. You got some more? Yeah, we got, we got yeah you guys need like three more at least. Yeah, three more on each side. Holy shit. Well, that concludes the Music City Showdown show day two. Wasn't really crazy, but whatever. It was all right, it was pretty decent. It just, uh, there wasn't really many people here on day two, but we're gonna, everybody's loading up, packing everything up and getting ready to leave. I'm fixing to leave here in a minute. I go get my hat back from somebody. They stole my hat. What's up? And I found this guy. He's building a cool truck right now. Well, uh, going to be. Yeah. You have to wait to see that. It's just an old, you know, 73. Oh, yeah, old or, 73 with a completely you know, nothing, different chassis. Nothing special about yeah. it at all. Yeah, yeah. He's got some pretty cool plans with that. You have to go check that out when he gets done. Hopefully, my OBS will be done at the same time that your truck's done. Ooh. Then we just be rolling out. Yeah, I'm trying to get it done before truck. LST next year. Same. So? Me too. I was trying to get it done before LTN this year, but that's not going to happen. So yeah. we're fucked on that. Oh, we're freaking leaving Tennessee. We're out of here. See you later, Music City. Nashville was fun. It wasn't too shabby. Now we're gonna get on the road and head back to the house. Hopefully get home at a decent time and hopefully he doesn't blow any trailer tires. Cause if he does, that's gonna make it a much longer trip and make it not so fun. But we shall see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm obviously gonna fill you in if anything happens and on the way home Anyways, hope you guys liked the video if anything happens on the way home. I'll be sure to include it, but Like comment subscribe man. The show was fun Have a good night. I'm gonna be driving so I'll catch you on the next one for sure I'm gonna be trying to daily not daily upload but upload every three to four days I'm gonna try to stay on top of it. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can every single day and stay on top of that stuff. Also, uh, stay tuned for at least two videos a week. Hoping so. Hell, I didn't even see you there. Now, let's talk about something here. We all know shows are hard to run. They're very difficult. They take a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of connecting to get them to even work halfway decent. Now, the other half is the people showing up. 
which would then make it successful. The other part of those people showing up is just being respectful, showing up on time, and doing what is needed of them to be able to allow the show to continue smoothly. Now, I'm not saying anybody was disrespectful, I'm not saying anybody wasn't disrespectful, and I'm not saying that it, the security was in the right or in the wrong. What I'm saying is, is if there is a time frame and it's been posted and you're supposed to be there before that time where the gates will shut, granted whether it's 15 minutes past, 25 minutes past, 10 seconds past or whatever, that's up to the security to either be A, a complete ass, or B, stand, you know, let, let some people slide. Then the next person behind them in the line is gonna be like, well, why'd you literally let them go uh, and not me? Because now it's 12.05 after they got through. Um, and so forth and so forth. It's, it's, it's gonna keep going down the line because there's a whole line of people trying to get in. That I can see why they would say 12 o'clock, bam, no, no one's coming in. No matter who you are, who you're with, or what you have there. I can see that on a security and a management side. Like everybody knows, you know, you tell one person, yeah, you can have a piece of gum. Everybody that's behind them is gonna want that piece of gum as well. So it's, it's, it's kind of maybe a bad scenario, but it's, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, I had a great time at the show. I got there at like 11. Everybody behind me got in too. There was quite a bit of trucks there, quite a bit of people, good people. I met a lot of good people, talked to a lot of good people, signed a lot of stuff, met a lot of people. Um, and everywhere I went, there was somebody or someone taking pictures with somebody else or everybody has their own fan base. Everybody has their own customers. Everybody else, everybody has their own group, if you will. And I believe everybody had a good time. Now, I know there's some people that did not get to get into the show. The time frame on that, on when people could and couldn't come in the show, 12 o'clock noon, that's a little bit early. I think it should have been like two, if they're gonna put a time frame on it, maybe two o'clock in the afternoon, because that's the show's three quarters of the way done for the day. You know, they're not gonna let anybody else in because, you know, there's just no reason for it. People are gonna be starting to leave, so they don't wanna be interrupting with people trying to leave and coming in at the same time. So I get that, if it was around two. Now, if you're in the show at like nine o'clock in the morning, when you got there, you got there at nine o'clock in the morning, and you leave and you can't come back to go get lunch or something like that, that's also wrong. I also believe that you know you should be able to leave and come back if you have a spot. They were trying to say and make an excuse saying that there are so many trucks there uh, that there's not enough room. If people leave, then they have to stay out. But at the same time, they weren't letting trucks in. So how can it be full? So, and when I was there, not all the parking lots were full. Not every spot was taken. So they should have been doing communicating communication over the radio security should have been and saying hey silver lot has this many spots left or gold lot has this many spots left now the vendors the booths they should be able to leave and go as they please they have a booth spot that's that's their spot no one's gonna park there no one's gonna come in some joe blow is gonna come in and be like oh i'm parking at jtx no there's a spot there for somebody that is reserved so that should not have been an issue with anybody that's been in the booth spot. Now, granted, most of the people that were in booths, they didn't even move their trucks. But if they were to have to, they, they should be able to. Because, well, no one's going to take their spot. That's not taking up more truck space because that spot's already been taken. Anyways, all in all, I think that there's some people that were disrespectful and didn't make the situation any better, which then made a lot of these other people that got the same disrespect from the same guards all because of you you've heard it before one person ruins it it ruins it for everybody so i think the other people that had bad experiences with the guards probably had a, the guards didn't have a good day so i mean i get it whatever i haven't had any bad experiences with any of the guards there everything but everybody, everybody everybody was nice i got in there parked walked around filmed as you guys seen and you know, whatever. Now, it wasn't the best show of the year, but it wasn't a horrible show either. Yes, there should be some improvements and some things changed, definitely. But all in all, I mean, it wasn't a waste of my money. I had fun. I met a lot of great people. And uh, from all that other BS aside, you know, it was a good show. Well, not everybody wanted to wait two hours in a at a food truck line 
for one burrito. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how many people were there. So um, I get it. Go down the road, 15 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, go get McDonald's or Burger King or Taco Bell and come back within 30 minutes. I mean, you wouldn't have been halfway through the line at the show. People are hungry. You know, I, I get that you want to leave, but then you have that same obstacle that you can't, if you leave, you can't come back in with your truck. So I definitely think they need to allow the gates to stay open, let people come in and leave as they, as they please. I mean, especially if someone already paid for their damn tickets ahead of a time, I would not be denying somebody to come in if they paid ahead of time. Now if they're paying at the gate. Ah, look, we don't have no more spots can't bring your truck in bada boom bada bing pretty simple right but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video from the inside of the show i didn't go to any of the after party meets or anything like that just because nashville i just seen i just felt like it wasn't the great area to go to because there's gonna be a lot of cops hopefully you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what you guys think on my side um and what you guys thought about the video and uh what you guys maybe felt while you're at the show. You gotta take some positives out of the negatives and, and make the best of it. So anyways, enjoy the rest of your night. I'm a mo, as you guys can see. And the grass is like crazy tall because I've been gone all weekend. So it needs mowed bad. I'm gonna go do that. Peace, have a good night. See you on the next one. Cinematic shot of the Porter Johns. There's three of them. There's three shitters right there. <laughs>